Okay. Have you prayed about anything? And does it seem like your prayer hasn't, haven't been answered? Hasn't, haven't. Did you pray about getting a new car? Did you pray about having or receiving new clothes, going to college? Did you pray about things you believe you want and or need? Okay. Did you pray about receiving much money? I think a while back, someone messaged me and told me if they were rich, I forget the exact words, but I believe that person told me if they were rich, that would solve their problems. Okay. Let's say you prayed to God about receiving a lot of money. Let's say you are like that person that contacted me and let's say you believe money will solve all of your problems. Okay. If I was God, and if I knew giving you much money or making you rich will turn your heart against me, why would I do that? Why would I give you much money? Okay. Let's say you have low self-esteem and you believe having much things give you worth. Let's say you believe having a very nice car gives you worth. Let's say you believe having nice clothes, a nice car, a lot of money gives you worth. Let's say you are like that. And by receiving those things, let's say it is going to make you prideful and look down on people as in, as if you are better. If receiving those things will make you turn your heart against God, as in, like, if you receive those things, you won't pray, you won't read your Bible, you will turn back to your sins, you know, just turning your back against God. If I was God, and if I knew that, why would I give you those things? If I am God, which I am glad I am not, <laughs> if I was God and I want to draw people, and how can I say this? If I was God 
And if I want people to come to me, why would I give them things that will turn them away from me? Yes, I believe many of us are tested. Yes, I believe God reigns on the just as well as the unjust. So I think, I believe the unrighteous receives blessings from God as well. But if you are trying to live for God now, if you are praying for something that is going to turn you away from God, why would he give it to you? Would it truly be a blessing? Oh, man. Kevin, a million dollars, a million dollars would be a huge blessing. Yes, but for you, it may be a curse. You may say right now, if you would receive the money, you would always serve God. How do you know that? Do you know everything of yourself? I don't. Do you know how you are going to react if you were to receive that money? I don't. As in, if I was to receive that money, I don't think I know how I would react. Now I can say, I will always serve God and never give up on him. But how do we really know unless we are tested? There may be some things you have prayed to God about. And you may feel God will never answer that prayer. But have you thought about perhaps it is a good thing for God to not answer that prayer? Because perhaps if he did, maybe that would place you in worse circumstances. Right? Because if more money will make you fall into sin and stay away from God, why would he do it? Do God want to send us to hell? No. So, if something is too much for you to handle, why would I place it in your way? If I was God, if I know something is going to make you stay away from me, something you can't handle, why would I place it in your way? Will God place anything in our way we can't handle? I think not. Now, some people may experience some bad things. But I believe everything that comes in our way, we can handle. Whether we choose to or not. So let me stop here. God bless you.